Next on my journey is a stop at Mondo Nougat and Moorish Nuts. They are co-located out here in the Swan Valley. Andre's family migrated from Italy back in 1989. His dad then started baking. We became quite famous for our cannoli and our baked ricotta slice. And then come Christmas every year, you'd make some nougat. But customers started demanding more and more nougat. So let's start <laughs> making nougat in February, in March, in April, and, and the business is growing from there. And now every day. <laughs> every day, every day. So we've gone from 20 kilos a week to about 400 kilos a day. Now it's the mainstay of their business, and it's going from strength to strength. It's all manufactured here in the Swan Valley. So look, we, we start with honey as our base ingredient. So the egg whites and the honey get mixed together, and you form the nougat batter. That then cooks. Next, the nuts are added. Most of the time it'll be almonds or locally grown macadamia nuts or your fruit and, and whatever other products you want in to give it the flavour. The nougat is cooked, poured and cut into pieces. And then they go through the final stage which is the packing and wrapping. I'm amazed by the variety of products and flavours Andre and his family are producing. Now for the taste test. Nougat hot off the press. Hot off the press? Before it's even become the little piece that most people ever get to see. It's still warm. It's still warm. Now that's tasty. And chewy. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you very much for your time You're today. I think you. I might take these ones for the kids. Of course. And of course. For the kids. But I'm not going too far. Just next door is Archie from Moorish Nuts. Moorish Nuts have carved out a reputation for high quality handcrafted nuts and confectionery. Archie's success was driven by travelling to regional shows and getting people to try his delicious range of nuts. So if people had an opportunity to taste the product, they weren't buying blind, and that effectively is what drove the brand. You have one and you keep coming back for more, and hence they're called Moorish Nuts. I have spotted some exotic flavours. Where we have the truffle macadamia, wasabi, abalone, and seeing as you're a fish man yourself, <laughs> maybe we should try the abalone. Wow, you get that abalone straight away, as soon as you put it in your mouth. Really tasty. This flavour is a huge success with international visitors from Asia, where abalone is a delicacy. Archie and his team are always looking to add new and exciting flavours to the range. The latest one has been the truffle, and that's what we're driving, and the coffee glazed macadamia. Those are the two that we're really promoting this year. It's all made on site with homegrown ingredients. So whether it's peanuts, almonds, macadamia, Pistachio, all of it is Australian produce. Archie says they're perfectly placed in the Swan Valley, amongst WA's oldest winemaking region. He says their nuts perfectly match the local wines. We have tasting sessions with the wineries where we complement the nuts with a particular choice of wine. Another part of Moorish Nuts' business success is supplying nuts and nibbles to airlines and hotels. And Archie puts me to work. One of the old days when we used to pack fish, 250 grams, too many, Josh. So get to the Swan Valley and drop into Mondo Nougat and Moorish Nuts. You won't be disappointed. <laughs>